It seems like there is a glass ceiling to the number of impressions and sales we're able to achieve and that we're not being rewarded by Amazon with organic ranking. Are you experiencing this? Are you experiencing this? How can we break through the higher impressions and sales? Well, this is, uh, yeah, I think we've all experienced that at, at some point. Uh, so, you know, sometimes it's just one product. Sometimes it's, it, it seems like it's, it's um, account wide um, that, you know, it, it can be hard to break through to the next level on PPC. Um, we, so um, there's a lot of different things you can do and there's a lot of different services you can use. So, I mean, you can get in there and you can start scheduling the, the, the uh, PPC to, to either turn on or to increase your bids at certain times of day and you know certain times of, of the week um, so that's one way of doing more with that but um, in general relying on PPC Amazon PPC alone it can be really tough um, it can be hard to, to kind of break through with that because I mean, there's a lot of competition out there and there's people using technology out there so if your competitors are into that it kind of you know uh, limits with you know how, how much of the market you can get um, so uh, the way we handle that is we use other channels to promote as well so uh, you know we build up a substantial email list and we market to that email list and drive people back to Amazon so that's outside traffic we also um, make sure that we have um, uh, advertising going on on Google um, and uh, some of that goes to our website, some of it goes to Amazon. Um, again, Amazon is very, they reward outside traffic a lot. So anything you can drive to them by email or Google ads or even Bing ads and, you know, um, from, other, from other outside services helps a lot. And so that's kind of how we break through that. Yeah. Another thing, um, you know, if, if you are, you know, kind of, <clears throat> you don't have the wherewithal or you don't have an email list or something like that to, to kind of drive external traffic. One thing to consider on Amazon PPC, if that's the, the one area that you have going and you, you, you know, you have, you know, someone who handles that for you or, or you're doing it yourself and you've, you know, taken the time to learn it and really kind of hone it in and trying to break through. Um, there are many aspects to Amazon PPC and there's a lot of honing that can be done and there's also a lot of um, false ideas that you can probably get rid of um, you know so there's there's things that could actually be holding you back there's there's techniques that that we learned over the years um, that were just you know they were great ideas or they were novel ideas at the time um, but then actually ended up um, either restricting us in some way or making us too broad, too general, um, not honing into the, to the specific audiences. Um, so there's definitely a lot to Amazon PPC that can be considered. There's, there's video campaigns, um, there's uh, display campaigns. So there's different types of campaigns you can start looking at if you're not, you know, if you're not doing all of those different types. If you don't have brand registry, um, you know, I advise getting brand registries, registry so you can actually do these other types of advertising. There is a lot that can be done. Obviously, you do need to know what you're doing or have someone who knows what they're doing because every other, you know, person is is doing it now, and bigger companies and bigger, you know, sellers are. Um, you know, using AI or using software to to try to you know get as much exposure as they can. So <clears throat> each Amazon seller has to kind of think with that and kind of plan accordingly. But um, there's a lot of different aspects of Amazon PPC that can be looked into, and um, you know, with the right person or the right right knowledge, uh, <clears throat> you can kind of get those things set up and actually make them profitable. Yeah, I mean, there's also agencies out there. So there's a number of, of people who, who will manage um, Amazon PPC for you um, and or DSP, both, right? So, and DSP is certainly an alternative to, to well, it's something you would add to uh, PPC. Um, but you can, you can, you know, if you get a DSP service provider, um, and, and you can just, you know, search for those on YouTube. We, we're using or have been using a company out of uh, England that does this called Clear Ads. Um, and they've done, they've done great and we, we're seeing really nice improvements in, in, um, in returns and, and revenue and profitability uh, using DSP there. So uh, that's certainly something I would recommend. Um, but also uh, agencies that focus just on PPC. Um, 
and PPC Logic is one of those, and that's AI driven and you know with, with human managers. Um, right. But there's a bunch of agencies out there. If you go to an agency, you just kind of want to look at um, you know what are the what are the fixed costs and and how are they incentivized uh, to 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 help you and how long of a period are you locked in for? Um, uh, we we have used a, a number of them in the past um, where you know our ad spend went through the roof and we were locked in for three months or six months and uh, and we didn't see an, an increase in in results or profitability. Yeah. So then you know now you're just pouring additional money out the window. Right. Um, so you kind of have to make sure that you understand the terms, you understand are you locked in for a time period and um, and are they, some agencies um, want to be paid based on ad spend and that means that the more they spend of your money, the more they get paid, right. um, which is a little bit of a conflict of interest, right. you know, if not a huge conflict of interest. So. Um, Look for somebody that has flexible terms and that is incentivized maybe to to be paid based on increase in revenue or increase in profitability or something like that or has a tier based tier, uh, you know a tier based system where they get paid more if you're doing better yeah. um, so so those are some things to look for. Yeah, and another key point um, which <clears throat> we've seen in uh, uh, managed by stat support uh, questions along this line. When, um, when, when getting some assistance with software or some agency or um, you know someone who's going to be helping you out on something, um, key is going to be knowing your numbers, right? And knowing what metrics to be looking at. So if you are getting someone to help you kind of expand into the you know uh, advertising arena or DSP or whatever, um, find out what metrics um, should you be seeing some changes on initially. Um, or within the first month or something like that. What things um, are an, an indicator of improvement or, or you know, without knowing what to look at and what to look for, you could just be spending money and hoping that it's all gonna turn right and then, you know, then you go broke. So knowing what metrics to look at, what metrics that are the first things that should be improving if, if the, the company is doing what it's supposed to be doing, um, is, is vital, so finding out what those are from the company and being able to track those, being able to see those yourself uh, is, is definitely a smart idea.